Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Strategic Command, World War 2, World at War. Let's uh, wrap this turn up and it seems like the loss of the Philippines reduces the US morale and means that, well, the Philippines will surrender this turn if uh, those things are going on. There we go, we plunder 43 MPP, not that much, so it wasn't really expected. The Dominican Republic joins the Allies. Okay. Fair enough. MacArthur arrives in Australia. Okay. Indochina to Japan convoys. Okay. We're not getting anything from Indochina then this entire turn, huh? Six from the Philippines and eight from Thailand. Okay. We're close to taking Xi'an, although we couldn't get a unit in there in this turn in China. Okay, they're reinforcing in Rangoon. Seems like they're trying to evacuate Xi'an then, moving back. Getting some new units in Morozovsk up there too. Soviets, of course, continuously reinforcing uh, different areas of the map while they have the MPP to do so, which is uh, fair enough. Thinking protect weak fronts. Do they even have weak fronts? It seems like they have some uh, T-34s there as well. So that's one of the first heavy tanks that they were seeing from uh, the Soviets. Seems like they were able to see that, probably through intelligence. in the case. I wonder if they're gonna get a unit right here, close to Barca, but true. to be able to repair this unit still. Which I probably can, even if they attack with the tanks. I'm probably pretty good. Taking Narva is going to be challenged though. Oh, luckily, no damage. Great. I'll see whether I can take Kasala. And then potentially also move up to Gondar. If I can make sure that these guys are cut off, which is unlikely will be a pretty good. It seems like they're just abandoning Siam entirely. Siam, I shouldn't say Siam. Which will give me again more MPP for the Japanese. Unless they deploy a unit there. That, that could happen. Hmm. Right. Okay, so... If they're purchasing now, that means that they've done all the rest they can. It's December 5th. wonder what uh, happens. There's no event, actually, for Pearl Harbor. I'm not too worried about Malta. Okay, back to action. Let's see how uh, we'll be firing in Russia. Probably going to be a lot of snow there. And, okay, Great. getting some garrison forces in Germany. They are going to go for some partisan duty. A Yamato battleship is ready. Probably snow. No, it's clear weather. All right. 
That serves me quite well. Don't know why these tanks weren't attached. Still happy that the supply was reasonable. Okay. I mean, I, I will get this particular unit out. Don't know where yet. Don't want to get them too far. That's for sure. So. Hmm. Alright, they might be able to deploy somewhere here, but let's just get you out all the way. Okay, so they can deploy in a pretty strategic position. Not too happy about that attack just yet, even though these guys are not at all entrenched. Could make the upgrade. What about this attack? I'll just set this to escort. And you as well for this turn. We'll see what happens. Also doing a lot to that airplane, which is good. No luck in that last attack. Or there. Down to two. One. Hmm. What I can do is pull you back. You in here. And destroy these guys. Hopefully, being able to get in there, but that is not possible. Oh well. I still think it was quite good destroying that, and this is. Okay, this also is a double strength, double anti-aircraft. But they don't seem to have that many units anymore, at least in this particular area. Except for these HQs and the bombers and such. But those aren't the biggest threat. Down here, though. You can't actually take that city. And I'll move back for a bit. And actually attacking this is pretty good because it means that I get in some free damage. The enemy needs to repair that. Uh, that's pretty wasteful for the enemy because they have to continuously repair a fighter, which is just no good. Try to finish off the unit at Rangoon. You get to attack, right? Yeah. Oh, 
And with some luck, take these oil fields. Enemy contact, but I don't care about that as long as I take those. Let's go in here, you in here. Let's get the HQ up. Still don't think they'll be able to move through down here. I think the, uh, the road is too bad. So I'll move my garrison down and take, try to take that city. I'll see what happens. I mean, they're blocking my road here right now. And the supplies are probably going to be pretty poor. But with some luck, these guys will survive. And I'm actually getting a lot more MPP per turn then. Which would be very nice. I do have to say that. Seems like they also have some fighters there, which are now stuck. Try to destroy this unit at Corregidor first. And afterwards, I'll, I'll try to send my units down there. Okay, so that's good. Philippines did surrender. That's our first step. Let's see what we can do in China. Movement is again really poor due to the problematic weather situation this time though can't even move up here it's just impossible to get through so I'll start upgrading my units for a bit so Still trying to get that core out. I need to start equipping a few more units around that area. Let's see which unit I, c I want to get in there most of all. And like I said, continuously harassing that unit is also some, uh, is pretty good for me. I will attack the communist HQ. And leave that unit there for now. Just not that much that I can do and advancement will be slow. But we took another industrial center. It gives us only one MPP. But I'm pretty sure that it's a lot worse for the Chinese that we took it. So that's quite nice. There's a submarine around that area. But currently I have to actually hunt this one. Going well so far, but damage is slow simply because these guys aren't up to snuff just yet. All right, maybe I can swing in here with my. carriers and start damaging this thing this way. Enemy air unit down. Great. Let's land in the port. Now, unfortunately, I haven't found that unit. 
Let's use the heavy cruiser to potentially... Alright. What I am going to do though is I'm going to set a couple of the... or send a couple of these down to start harassing that, that unit down there. Currently, I'll just go into the port. Apparently, there is an enemy light cruiser that can be destroyed, and I will destroy that. Can I go back to port, I guess, over in Manila? And then I'm ready to start bombing this unit down here with my cruiser as well. We can take Kotabaru and start moving upon Singapore. I also have these battleships to start dealing with uh, these supplies down there. But that does mean that I'm going to need to send these battleships a bit further down into those ports, which I will. And I'll start sending in some bombers. So I'll need to also... I really don't know what's going on with these ports. It's just so strange. I guess these guys have to stay out of the port. What is the partisan situation in Burma as well? It doesn't seem like there are any partisans there. Also very little partisans in India. So I'm not too worried there. Uh, that's going pretty well. These guys can just stay there. I wonder when supplies will start moving towards the uh, towards Australia from the US. It doesn't seem like that is actually starting yet. This is a bit risky, but we made it. And this army will definitely not go anywhere. Doesn't seem to be any real partisan threat down here. I'll purchase another garrison at the very least for the Japanese. So we can actually take, uh, actually put a garrison in there. The enemy can't immediately take that, but that is pretty much it. So we've taken care of this. China is once again taken care of. We've taken care of the naval situation out here in Japan as well. It's going okay. Advancing in Burma. Uh, Malaysia. We've taken care of the Africa Corps as well. That's going great. Things there have been taken care of. Which means that the last thing that we need to take care of is Russia here. Let's zoom in first. go that's at least one of their ships down but 
I want the uh, Russian fleet to harass me over here. I'm not too uh, too keen on that. But let's see though. I'm quite sure they have a unit in there. So yeah, but it's only a garrison. Unfortunately, I don't have to finish units to actually go after it. I'll go after the core because that's the only unit that I can reasonably expect to damage. And we'll start going for town. Let's first of all just pound these guys into potential oblivion. Even with the interceptors, I'm still willing to do this. No luck. Ah, oh, come on. That's just embarrassing. I guess I'll have to continue on the next turn. Their supply is pretty good, unfortunately. What I do have now, though, is some units right next to the port. So I do expect them not to be able to get any supply from that. And this way they should receive little to no supply I think 